Okay, we are live for Oak Crest Baptist Church and Oak Crest Friends. Love you, everyone. Every, everyone. Well, this is Friday. And, uh, now, some people, it's payday. Yeah, that used to be a big thing years ago anyway, and I think some still get paid on Friday. And some get paid in two weeks and all kind of ways. But uh, all right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm telling you, you're not going to like this virus report. But we'll hang in there for a minute. We got eight families hooked up. I want, want more of them before I give this report. But uh, our cleaning crew, our laundry crew uh, uh, just left. It's a, a normal Friday morning for them when things are normal. And what a blessing they are. And my, uh, like, like what I'm wearing right now, my laundry, the ironing. Hey, uh, thank the Lord. Thanks, Lord. And uh, Sister Tina brought me some pieces, metal pieces and little that come from under my uh, recliner. And they've been asking. They've been telling me that I need. To, they need to let. I need to let them buy me a new recliner. I, said, ah, I mean, it, you know, uh, it is well used. I'm telling you that. And uh, I said, got to have a recliner. So okay, okay, it's coming apart. Got to have it. It the uh, when all those metal pieces start breaking up, it's bit, it shows it's been well used. And I want to thank the Lord for it. I do appreciate it very much. But rather than take it out and manufacture some parts to try to make it, hey, let's just get a new one. It'd be cheaper and easier. All right. So thank the Lord. And that'll happen. That'll happen. Okay. I'm talking just, I'm, I'm you, I think it was just either this week or last week uh, when they said that. Uh, Need to get me a new recliner. No. I mean, you know, some things I like using a long time and uh, not buy another just because I want something new. But in this case, I give in, I surrender. Yes, get me a recliner. All right, got 11 families hooked in. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, Brother Nate, and I guess, uh, you know, Brother Sam Paul gets some credit on this, but he's he's caught uh, eight of those big old rats now. One was small, one was huge, big as a cat. And so anyway, been, hey, those are critter varmints. We're glad that he's doing a good job. It's a daily job for him. And uh, so hang in there. You're doing a good job. And uh, we're going to hopefully we hip out on that rewards. Okay. Uh, uh, the recliner. Here's information. It's only 20 years old. You know, it's only 20 years old. But I use that thing every day, uh, every night. Uh, if I have afternoon time, I use it. Uh, if I have a little bit of evening time, I try to get in bed between seven and so, uh, and I try, and uh, except on Wednesday night, of course. And uh, uh, but when I hit that chair, whoa, boy, I use that thing. And uh, so, okay, sister, I surrender. We'll just replace it. And uh, here she said. It has got a lot of mileage on it. It's well used, and I, 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 that's what I'm confessing. Amen. If you, I mean, if, if I drove a car like my recliner, I'd have to have another car. Uh, amen. I've got 16 families chatted in now. Uh, rehauling, you know, we've been talking about this for days, but rehauling uh, the trader that... Uh, uh, Brother Finney has, I'm not sure how that, how it is, but it's being used for 
for uh, church community use. And uh, so rehauling it, putting hubs on it that will have a standard size fit for the, for the wheel. And, uh, uh, and to make that work, uh, to make it work well, Brother Finney at, at, uh, at the shop at, uh, at his work, uh, I don't know if he did, did it or his friend did it, but cut him a couple of sleeve pipes. One goes into the other to go on the shaft of the new hub to fit the hole where uh, that frame is built for. And uh, that's what he's doing, he's doing a good job. That's gonna work well. And uh, once we get that done, we got new wheels and tires put on it and I'll order a, uh, a, a single wheel tire so we'll have a good, uh, I mean, you know, spare wheel uh, and nobody be afraid to use it. We got the new spare on the big trailer and I think it was uh, maybe day before yesterday, uh, Brother Finney uh, took and put it on the trailer and he's going, he's planning on using it. I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow night, but he's going to, they've been given a, a, a Ford, small Ford pickup truck. I forget what it's called, but it went in small ones. And uh, he wants to haul it home. And uh, that's going to be one of the boys, or both the boys. And uh, amen. All right. And like, I mean, it, Brother Finney's reused car a lot is getting uh, quite a number of vehicles. And so the Lord blessed him. All these were either gifts or bartering with somebody who said, do, do me yard so many times you can have this. And he's got them anyway. He's, he's got those boogers. Uh, and so, well, brother uh, Levi came. He needed the trailer just this, just this morning, just in time. The spare wheel just been on on the frame there, uh, two days, ready to be used, and so we're thank you, brother uh, Jason, for getting that put on the trailer. All right, Sister Rhonda said yesterday, Paul went to the dentist to get some fillings. Y'all know something about that, and uh, one of them, the insurance wouldn't cover. But the dentist went ahead and did it free. Hallelujah. That's a good report. Hey, it's been some prospering progress this week, isn't it? Amen. Okay. Praise the Lord. Good report. I love these good reports. Uh, all right. Now we've got, to, let's look here. We've got 20 families uh, uh, hooked in now. So I'm going to give you the, virus report uh, for just, you know, how they do this just afternoon to this morning. Now, less than 20. I'm not sure how that it's less than 24 hours. And uh, if it's 24 hours, we wouldn't get to report that this later this afternoon. So this is, I'm not sure what to call it. It's 18 hours. Uh, but this is the report that comes through the Shelby County Health Department. Uh, we have 400, yes, afternoon to this morning, we have 400 and 14 new cases that tested positive with this virus. Last night, and this is, hey, I'm telling you, this killer's still here. Last night, 30 people died with this virus. 30 people. This is still a hot spot in the world, right here where we are. That's what the report is. And this is uh, the hot spot uh, every night. We got deaths uh, every day. We have uh, hundreds that are being tested positive with this virus. I'm telling you, this is this is what's going on. All right. Uh, uh, there's a Thanksgiving here for Brother Bill. Brother Bill got a new client. His uh, attorney friend, you know, uh, been working on this a few days. And so anyway, called in yesterday and interview with the client and the attorney, everything, and they signed the paper. So Brother Bill has a new client. This is important. Uh, now, whatever whatever the, the value, you know, if a, if a, if a, a client, their, if their trust is in the millions, uh, then uh, uh, 
uh, there's more work and more pay. And when it's uh, not like that, but it's but still a huge sum to any of us, it's a small amount monthly pay. And uh, But if you add up one, two, three, four, you keep adding all these, it may be a, we, you might consider it small monthly uh, salary, but the time you uh, add that thing up, uh, that's a pretty good salary. So we're always excited for Brother Bill to get a new client. You remember uh, a few camp meetings back, uh, we, we needed uh, so many thousand dollars, I've forgotten now. And, uh, and uh, so Brother Bill uh, wrote a check I think he went to the bank and borrowed the money on his doings. But he, hey, however you handle money, fine. But he brought a check. He said, but here's, here's, here's what I want. I, I, want it. I was going to give that check for $1,000 to, to give all our missionaries pay for expen the uh, expenses needed yet to be paid to balance for the camp meeting. He said, but I want this. I want five new clients. So... Uh, I, I'm giving this money, but would you pray that the Lord give me five? So every time he gets a new client, we think about that. And we're so happy for Brother Bill to get a new client. He's worthy of it. He's worthy of it. And uh, uh, now Brother Bill has uh, said some things. Uh, you know, you know, it, it, it's kind of sobering to find out that Somebody like Brother Bill is human, and uh, humans make mistakes. And sometimes they think God's telling them, and they do it, and it, and it turns out to be a mistake. All right? Now, yeah, hey, hey, we're talking real life now. Now, this happens all of us. But when there's somebody that's uh, in, in the limelight of the church importance, like Brother Bill, so then when he, and hey, Brother Bill not only needs uh, our sympathy of, of forgiveness, hallelujah, of anything we see now, but uh, we're also required to pray for his strength. I'm talking about spiritual strength. And uh, he desires it. And, but I tell you, it, it's what every saint desires is to be so full and right with God that their everyday life is happy. It's what everybody wants. So I'm saying that. Would y'all pray for Brother Bill? We love him. And you know, some things it's, it's hard to undo. You do something and it's hard to undo it. Uh, but my goodness, uh, you got flesh. What what anybody you want you want a detective to follow you around and tell us what's going on? Hey. We all want help from each other and from the Lord. All right. Sister Sarah, she says, yesterday I was in line uh, getting an, an iced tea, uh, and the person ahead of me uh, paid for it. Just somebody. How about that? Thank the Lord for the little things and being isn't this wonderful. Isn't it just good? Uh, it's, it, oh, yeah, I like these things. And then uh, uh, Sister Becky jumped in with a shout and said, Woo, please keep the clients coming, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, yes, uh, hey, Brother Bill. Yes, praying for our Brother Bill, who is a wonderful gift to the church. I want to tell you something. I hope I don't mess up real big time. Um, hey, I hope I don't mess up in some big time. I, I hope so. But I'm going to tell you now that would you just forgive me what could happen and uh, love me uh, for, the, for the better. Thank you. I heard that prayer. Thank you. All right. Uh, 30 people died last night right here. Uh, with that virus, it's, this is this is awful. This is awful. Uh, it is really, really awful. Uh, there's some 
thank the Lord it's an important uh, document signing uh, here in a little while that uh, uh, Sister Pam, Sister Vic will be going and uh, uh, to Brother Spicer's daughter place and they'll sign documents and this is all uh, hey this we're, we're looking forward to sister Angelina saying it's my house brother Spicer's house is my yo and may the Lord bless it may the Lord bless it all right and uh, uh, sister Tina says the Olivers are so happy for your new client, Brother Bill, and we love you. Ain't that good? Hey, when you know and you hear it said that you're loved, it it, it uh, helps you. Now, I know it helps me, and uh, it does help you. Now, uh, Brother uh, Brian came. Uh, you know, we got on the chat yesterday morning. He sent text. I read to you. Uh, okay, and the and the Finney says the Finney family loves our Bible teacher, and and uh, he doesn't read from a book, but he preaches from the Bible. Hey, that that's enough to say he's worthy. He's worthy. Uh, there's Nana, Sister Janice says we were. Received a food blessing uh, on our doorstep yesterday, and if it was Oakcrest being a blessing, thank you. She said, "Thank you, Oakcrest," and it is. Uh, you know all that food that, that come in yesterday. I think it was yesterday, and they were they were uh, or day before. I don't know. I can't keep up the days. The food comes keeps coming in, and so they were uh, sharing food, different ones. And, and they get talking about our our uh, they're our members, you know. They're they they're members of the their good church at uh, 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 I I guess you all almost in the Middleton city limits there. And uh, uh, we're uh, brother Chris's pastor, but they're honorary members here. Now we 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 trying to be real kind. We're not trying to steal anything from brother Chris. And uh, Crossroads Baptist Church. No, no, no. Am I saying that? I'm probably not even saying the, the Calvary Road. Calvary Road. How about I, I just hey? It's it's our fellowship time. A spam wrist phone trying to come in. That's just the devil trying to interfere in it. Well, uh, Sister Janice, we're we're happy for y'all. We love y'all, and. Uh, uh, I got a text from her last night. I, 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 I barely got to read it. I was in bed early. But uh, uh, they, both, I think both of them fell. Uh, Pappy and Nana both fell together, I guess. And, uh, and, but she, and then so yesterday, I think, or maybe day before yesterday, I, being, I got this last night, uh, that uh, she had to go to the ER. I mean, it. You can get banged up with a fall, you know that. So, uh, sister, we assume that the two of you are doing fine and well in spite of the fall. We want to say we love you and we want the best for you. Yes, yes. Sister Janice sent her text, if I understood it correctly. You know, sometimes I don't read things quite the way they intend it. But, uh, Okay, here's how they fell. They were in the ditch out front of their house, I think. And, uh, uh, but anyway, oh, there's another. Uh, the Lord bless y'all, Sister Janice. Amen. Oh, my. I, I'm, hey, uh, she was saying that. Uh, she was looking for some food to see if she can get some, have something to fix for Pappy. And lo and behold, there was the groceries uh, in the sack, and I think it's in a sack. 
And so that, that's how our text came through. It was real big stuff. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Well, uh, have you ever got up in the morning? I got up at six. Oh, we had a little after six. Six o'clock, Brother Speak. Uh, Jason was here reading, and for the time I got up, I looked, and he's already gone to work. But I came out, but I, I, I got my computer turned on to take care of it. One, one of the things come up was the renewal tag on our trailer, the one that's being used today, and uh, which is due this month. And, uh, boy, nothing would print, nothing would work. And, it, and and I clicked on the, on the email and all the information right there on the, on the trailer. And it said, but you click on this, it's new, it, we got something new. Uh, yeah, you watch out when somebody has something new. You just look out, there'll be something wrong with it. And it said, Re renew now. He said, this is quick and fast. I clicked on it, you know what it said? Your plate cannot be found. I mean, everything's right there on the email. But when you click on the little special quick thing, it cannot be found. And it took me about an hour to get all the information they were wanting so I could go, uh, go online and do the old handiwork. And the time I got all that, uh, th something started working, not the quick stuff. Uh, but they found my tag, and uh, they had it listed. And all I had to do is put in the credit card number and pay for the booger. Hey, that was my morning. And then I got ready to print what I'd done. And my and my computer, I hit the little print icon. Always works. You know, it don't work today. My text is going to work on the computer here just a little bit. Say what in the world's wrong? Why I can't print? Well, anyway... Uh, have you ever gotten up and that's where your day started? Does, but don't you get so full of God when that happens? Oh, my. And uh, so anyway, uh, whoever who, whoever that smart person is that's working for the Memphis and Shelby County office and, and did all this to make it easy and quick for everybody, for them, you, and uh, whoever it is, uh, may they live to be an old age. All right. Brother Chandler, thank you, church, for all your prayers and all the Lord's blessings. Love you all so much. Amen. Okay. We got big things happening. Aren't we? Well, uh, I think uh, Brother brother Finney said he wanted to talk to me about, about some things about the repairs on the trailer and uh and uh, so anyway we're going to try to put it together in such a way that if that hub and and uh come assembly as a spindle that slides into place we won't want to fix this new stuff so that if we ever had to replace it we just go uh northern tools or to one or pick one up slide this one out slide a new one in that's what we'd rather have then rather have some welding and have to grind to get to it, take two years. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, so he says he's going to talk to him about, he's been thinking about how to do it too. And uh, we'll see. But Lord willing, uh, that, now we don't know about uh, if uh, Northern Twos have gotten in the the, the hub that, that was ordered. And uh, they spoke, I think he's supposed to send something to the church's uh, email and and uh, whoever can read the email for the church, maybe it, it may tell us it's over there waiting on us. All right. Now, Brother Larry went over to check some things. I've been in my study so long that when I went in yesterday, it was real musty, and I wasn't sure maybe something died in the attic. I wasn't sure. And uh, so Sister Big, when I told her this morning, she got Brother Larry and went over and he went up at pulled the stair down, went up and checked on things, nothing wrong there. But they got a look looking under under the bachelor little door, a compartment under the bachelor storage, uh in my little bathroom and opened the door, looked in there, and there the uh, hot water tank is corroded and coming down on the side. And they tell me about it. They come back, give me a report this morning. Okay, I said, Well, we hadn't had any hot water for two years, so 
uh, yeah, it needs a hot water tank. So we're going to work on that, I guess. And uh, uh, yeah, and they said before it burst, because that thing burst, ooh, boy, gee. oh, it's going to be hard enough just just to drain it and, and, and get that thing out of there and replace it. But anyway, uh, uh, then Sister Rhonda said, the devil is fighting a lot this morning. Uh, hey, just hear what I was saying. So I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for bringing me to my live, loving church and giving me a loving man of God as pastor. Man, that, that makes you feel better, doesn't it? And a loving church family. Hallelujah. Uh, Sister Tabitha, Brian and I have been going down memory lane lately, and I just want to want to be so thankful for how God has blessed us. Uh, and, you know, uh, uh, the Gatchelian brothers, Brother Kent Brown, he's, he's, the, he's, the, he's the elder. He's always watched out for his little brother, Brother John Raven. And so both of them married into our church family. Both of them are living here. They're, to me, this is, just, I'm not what, Hey, you can write a book about how the Lord put them together. This is, we love them so much. And uh, and the, the church they hail from, Lighthouse Christian Baptist Church at Coppice, uh, Brother Noel, the pastor, and they hail from there to here. Uh, they have such good credentials, such good credentials. We love our fellows. And I, I, I'm thinking that if if I were to sit down, sit down right now with uh, Sister Tabitha and Brother Kent Bryan, I hear, I can, oh, yeah, hallelujah. I got that phone call from the Philippines, okay? That's, that's, that's how they say it sometimes. You know, I always say just the long word, Philippines. They said Philippines, and then... Uh, so many things they do much better than I, and words. But I got this phone call. I can't tell you what year it was. I cannot tell you. I, I just can't tell you anymore. But I got this phone call, and said, "This is this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, you know I I knew him as Brian. He said, this is Brian at uh, Lighthouse, and I wanted to call and talk to you." Hey, he's calling me from Philippines on my phone. This is back when you didn't have all this free stuff, you know. And uh, he said, I want, I want permission. I want permission to uh, communicate and, and write and however with uh, Sister Tabitha. Wasn't this honorable? Was this not honorable? That he gave me a phone call, and asked me permission. Uh, yes, sister, you're making me think of some good things too. Uh, and uh, yes, preacher, I'm currently working on writing a book about our story. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. And we'll have it will help some of these kids. That, I mean, to act it out and make a movie of it. Okay, Amen. Well, it's good to be saved on Friday morning. It is Friday morning. I was looking, it's still morning. Uh, a lot of things trying, it, we're, we're trying to do. Uh, woo! We got, uh, uh, I mean, boy, the people have got, already got their tax tax work done. God bless you. And we, we want the best for everyone. And uh, I've got two tax uh, customers, clients, uh, this time, Brother Greg and myself. And uh, and so then, boy, I'll tell you what, uh, it, it, it's just, I mean, the IRS is getting worse and worse about removing things that you could do before and you can't do now, and you can't find it. Where's it at? And uh, I, I use the H and R Block people. I got the Deluxe uh, uh, tax plan. 
should have everything you'd ever want. And, uh, and you can ask questions and things like that. But, but I tell you what, I just need help because I've got a whole list of things that Brother Greg has given me, uh, expenses they've done and so forth, and I can't find a place to, to put where they can get credit for it. And so I need help that I might find something for Brother Greg. It'd be real good for him to get some of his money back. And uh, we need to need know that right away. All right. So preacher needs help, and uh, preacher may even get some money back too. Uh, all right. Sister Becky said, Larry said, thank the Lord for the little jobs that uh, Phil has given him and he was able to do during his recovery. Now, they, they're small jobs, so he not hurt his hand. He not be uh, bouncing on ladders to mess up his uh, good hip uh, replacements. So, uh, and so then at least this week is what I was told. He, uh, new windows, you know, with the labels on the glass, took on the glass. And uh, so then he uh, had the job of scraping and taking off those uh, uh, stuck on things, you know, and then uh, cleaning it. He's like a window cleaning bit. And then caulking, you know, uh, uh, making the windows seat seal correctly and I, this is what I was told this morning it was all inside uh, not only it was something he could do without damaging he's got it he's got that wrap on his arm so he won't overdo with his hand and but and then inside not outside in uh, all this inclement weather okay um, and uh, and, it's, and she says and feel has a regular job waiting on Larry for next week. So when he can do a little bit more, he's got a regular job. And a regular job pays regular money. Uh, amen. And next week, Larry's supposed to be released by a surgeon. You see what I'm talking about? All this is coming together in a very good way. Thank the Lord for it. All right, we're glad for uh, all our fellows having jobs. And uh, thank God you have a job. Uh, at times that we're living right now, uh, you know, we were talking about last year when so many millions of people uh, were out, out of work and uh, out of their employment, unable to do a job. And, and our church family kept on working. And we're talking about the, 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 such a small amount uh, when uh, I remember my sister Polly and she got to draw some unemployment while the, that little, little short while. Then uh, Brother Levi, the same way, his, his job hardly, but because of that. And then right now, there's hardly no one working uh, at the, at the uh, that Toyota parts, whatever they do over there uh, in the uh, uh, go around West Memphis to get there at Marion, I guess. Anyway, uh, I think some are off because of uh, the virus, but some of the jobs are shut down because of the virus because they can't get the products in order to, they've got to have whatever they need to put these things together, uh, whatever they're doing. I'm not sure what it is, but they have to have it from the manufacturer to send it in to manufacture with. And so they can't get it because others are shut down. Because And so then Brother Levi still has a job where he goes in while many of his place can't work. So thank the Lord for all our people to have a job. And we want, we want you to have continued employment. We, we want you to, hey, we've always, we want what we've always wanted for you. And that is for you to be blessed with uh, a house, a bed, uh, everything that you need uh, for uh, for living. We want everything. Now we could, uh, I could go on, on the skid row, put me up a little pallet and maybe a pasteboard box to live in and, and survive. I could probably do that. 
But spiritually, I don't think I'd be, be very successful. So then I like having a recliner. Hey, then there's another thing. The Lord said uh, he's given us things. Read it now. Things to enjoy. So as, as children of God, he's given you things to enjoy. So that, uh, don't beat yourself over the head too much uh, because uh, you have a washing machine, somebody else doesn't. Now, we can, we're concerned about those who don't. We don't misunderstand what we want everybody to have what they need. But the, the, the thing is, the Lord, and then the Lord says, in the scripture, these things are in the scripture now, you find it. Uh, he said that he's made all things for himself. So God's made every, all things for himself. And then he's given you things to enjoy. Why? Because he wants you to uh, experience and enjoy the same nature of blessing as he experiences for all things that he's made. And uh, God just so good. He's so good. So, you know, uh, they're, they're in the book of the Revelation, some of the judgment coming. Uh, it says for those uh, the people that are destroying the earth. Uh, I read in the book of Revelation. And uh, so, and I'm, just talking, I'm not talking about global warming. And, uh, but they're going to be judged for it. They're going to be judged for it. But, you know, we plant trees, we trim trees, uh, we plant rose bushes, we uh, trim rose bushes. Uh, we got the orchard that Brother Larry is the orchard man, okay? He's the head of it, no matter who all works, he's the head of it. And uh, orchard uh, are fruit trees and fruit berries, vines and strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, and then the blueberry bushes. Oh, and then we've got the fig trees. And uh, and hopefully this year is going to be the the product of the fig tree. And, uh, you know, just one or two, uh, it's, it let us know that can have fruit. Now we want it fruitful, surely this year. So here in a little while, it won't be very many weeks and short months now until there'll be new leaves putting on on the uh, uh, fig trees and it'll tell you that it's working. All right, uh, we're, we're trying to take care of the earth. Uh, we're not trying to destroy it. We're not setting off bombs and uh, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to take care of it. And uh, you read through the, uh, uh, in Ecclesiastes, Solomon talks about it. And the uh, David talks about it, uh, especially Solomon. And that is, you know, uh, a house. And he mentions a house and a wall. And, you know, if it's not maintained, uh, the slothful man will, who will not repair the window and not repair the roof and not repair the floor and it begins to fall in. Uh, that's quite destructive. Well, we labor on our buildings, on our rooms, on our roofs. We labor at that to maintain our buildings. That's just being wise. And so then if you're faithful, if you're faithful, God will bless you for being faithful. If you're faithful for things that are, I say, belong to the church, belong to the church, and that is have a place that when the pandemic will be lifted, then we'll follow what Paul said, forsake not the assembly of yourselves as the manner some is. You see the day approaching. Uh, so then uh, we're anxious for that. Now we're getting to a simple, we talk about this here online. That's good. Uh, and, and you enjoy it. And I, I think yesterday, 
or the day before. I lose track of everything. Uh, of the taking the young, young ones, the boys and girls to uh, the dentist and to the doctor and, and places and, and get a good report. They came home and ring it in the house. And if, and if we were assembling up in the church, they'd be running around all the pews. And that's just why we do things to show appreciation. Well, uh, we love taking care of watching for one another and uh, ministering to one another and uh, praying for one another is part of our life. If we did not have that, we'd be, it wouldn't be good. If all I can think about is my own self and my own aches and pains and my own desires and needs, if all I could do that, I'd be a sorry person. We're concerned about you. We're concerned about one another. We want the best for everyone. We want the best health. We want the best recovery. We want the best uh, uh, conditions of life for you. And uh, that's just what it is. Conditions of life for you. It's we have much of everything we have. Each one has the same need. Much of it. But you have needs according to you. And uh, hey, the taller you are, you gotta have you gotta have a special place to see about getting some clothing in unless you make it yourself. Uh, the wider you are, same thing. Uh, and uh, so anyway, we're talking about needs that fit you, health that fits you. And so we, we desire that for everyone. All right. Are you, got all your chats in? We're sorry about the 30 people that died last night with this old virus. We're sorry about that. Uh, especially when we do know there's some things that will, can be ministered if, if the cotton-picking wicked crowd uh, would get their hands off of it and allow the doctors uh, and, and uh, all the medical society minister to these things. Some of these clinics, even in Los Angeles, uh, there is a clinic there that uh, up, up at least up to a few days on back, they may have already put out a bench. We're talking about a real good doctor. And they, they've, had, they've had a tremendous success of all, all their sickness and uh, all the people they've ministered to, but especially those that this virus. And then there was an older doctor in the next town, one of the next big town in California now. Hey, if, they, if they, somebody can use this medicine and uh, minister people and have a success rate in, in California, why can't they do it in Tennessee? And uh, I know it's not all throughout California, but if they, if they, I'm just telling you, some of these people should not have died with this virus when there's at least four different uh, medical treatments uh, that have been used and have been successful for anyone who got the virus. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to complain about this probably even after I'm gone, I'll probably complain. Well, Sister Pam said, thankful for finding some good deals this morning and, uh, and for Rachel keeping an eye out for everyone. Amen. When you have needs and each other knows that and they, yes, and find it, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Uh, I mean, just praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I complained about my weight yesterday. You know that. I'm a big complainer. I'm sorry. And, uh, but I, I lost uh, nine tenths of a pound. That's, I mean, that's getting on up there about 14 ounces. I lost that much from yesterday morning to this morning. I will say I'm th thankful. I am thankful. And uh, yes. And I want the best for you also. Amen. And uh, 
God forgive us, really, when it is a real complaint. But uh, we're very thankful that we have a problem that can be solved. Amen. Well, you love one another, you love God, hey, then you're fulfilling the, the commandments. The Lord said, first one is love God. The second one is love your neighbor. And he said, there's none greater than these two. That's what he said. And I believe the Lord always. Okay. Uh, uh, just go to bed with love. Get up with love. Work with love. And pray with love. We do. Hey, uh, it may sound like a complaint sometimes. It's just words. We really do love. The help that God lets us all have. All right. Uh, I, I started in something I was going, I didn't finish it. Brother Brian uh, came, was, was trying to get the axle out. His axles, if you ever know anything about these CV joints, you know, tear it up and trying to, but they get it, everything, but it's stuck in the transmission uh, housing work, transfer, what do they call it? And it has a little O ring, a metal O ring on your shaft. When you slide that shaft in there, that O-ring uh, pushes in with it and locks it, keeps it in place. And I've, I've, I've changed uh, uh, many of these axles myself, and I've had some of them to be very difficult and uh, required a lot of prayer. And so he and uh, uh, Gabe came and they gave him a little tool crow foot too, and I said, I'm going to tell you what, I, I've, I've had some say, if you can get to it, and you get to the little hook, and you and you you get something to work on, and take your hammer, and if you can get to it, and hit on that CV joint, and it just might jump loose. Now, I hadn't heard, I hadn't got a text from them saying they got it out, uh, but hopefully I already got it out, and you went in, but I want to hear that, but this is what I'm going to say, these things are, can get so difficult uh, that you're trying not to tear up and break something terrible uh, getting this done. This is for Brother Brian K. Let's get that axle on the road. And love y'all. See you tomorrow in Jesus' name.